I go to makeup look, super goop, unseen sunscreen, a flawless satin foundation, elf hydrating combo concealer, Kat Von D translucent powder, Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer, Pixie blush. Sephora Bra Mascara Too Faced Eyeshadow Palette Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara Sephora Brow Pencil Tart Lip Painted Birthday Suit Routine. Starting off with this Clinique moisturizer. I personally just love starting out with a lot of moisture. Mixing the Dior and Maybelline foundation. These two together just give me the perfect tone and the perfect amount of coverage. For a more flawless finish, I'm just going to press it into my skin with my sponge. White LA Girl Concealer. Also the yellow LA Girl Concealer. Dior Concealer right over the top of that. The reason I use this first is because it's flat on the top so it gets right underneath my eye and right underneath that wing liner. Blend that out really nicely with my sponge. My Messy Makeup by Mario Bronzer. Violet Tilbury Powder. I'm going to press it in my under eye and kind of set it there. Using my little angled sponge, I am just baking right over where I just put that powder. Just baking the lower half of my face. So I let it sit for a minute, now I'm gonna brush it off. Last thing I'm gonna do is mix these two blushes and just put it on my temple area and drag it out. This is how it looks. This is my full glam, flawless base routine. Hey guys here is my everyday makeup tutorial like you asked as you can see i already did my foundation i done my eyebrows so now i'm gonna show you guys how i do my eyeliner this is from revlon i bought it in the super farm i love to work with it because it's super cheap 
and it works wonders the brush is very thin it's very easy to work with it i start in the corner of my eyes by drawing a straight line making a mess under my eye of course but i will clean it after no worries and from the middle of my eyes i tried i try to close the two lines by doing this movement i usually move my head and hand at the same time then i'm gonna fill it out of course as everybody in this world and make a mess dots on my face i do these dots like every day and sometimes it gives like a marilyn monroe vibe which is very nice but not today so i'm not gonna be able to keep it i'm gonna clean it off the mess later i usually don't do all my eye with the eyeliner because it's gonna close up my eye um i'm gonna clean it up do the other side as you can see and uh, see you actually in a bit bye so here I am back, I did the both side, I do the Ariana Grande stupid pose to check if I like my eyeliner and I do. Let's go to the next move which is the mascara, this is from Maybelline, I also bought it in the super farm, I believe in drugstore products uh, that are not so expensive because sometimes they work better than Chanel for me, I used to have a Chanel mascara that did not work like this one for example, so I do this movement up and down like 700 times until my lashes look thick, black and uh, long and um, that's all actually I do the same in the corner of my eye I don't actually have some kind of move to do this and I just do the other side see you in a bit bye bye here I am what a difference with lashes wow lashes work wonder my lips are so dry I put balm because of the foundation wow so let's go with the contouring I use this product that I bought in H&M yes the clothing store in Europe they have makeup products and this is a powder foundation dark brown that I use for contouring with this brush I dip it and I do circular movements on my cheekbone because if you don't do this movement then you're just gonna have a straight line and it's not gonna be blended and that's not cute i do the same on my forehead do the same on the other side and see you in a bit there you go you can see what a big difference now i have to do this trick on my nose because i have a big ass nose i have to take my thinnest brush put it on my nose like this and start to contouring it with the same uh, product that I did the contouring on my face and you can see there is a huge difference and now for my lips if you want to see the trick I do to make my lips look huge then please comment and like the video for the part two you look lonely ad for the new Thick It Stick It NYX Thickening Brow Mascara. It was outrageous. I'm gonna do what she did. It came in like, a, it comes in a, in a oh, this is what she did. Complete disregard for the rest of her face. I feel like I have soap in my eyebrows. It's so thick. Of course this looks good so we're gonna keep going. Now you take makeup remover and you shape them. Okay I see where they're going with this. I mean they're sharp. I do not recommend this technique. They look stupid. I'll actually love for you to read it. Yeah, for sure. Just uh, send it to me. Hey, Ruru. Hi, uh, hey, Cass. Wait, are you in the play? What play? Lexi's play. What do you mean, Lexi's play? Uh, the play that Lexi wrote? Oklahoma. What? The play's called Oklahoma. No, the drama club's doing Oklahoma. Oh my god, do I look like I'm in Oklahoma? Why would your play be set in Oklahoma? You thought I was auditioning for Oklahoma. I haven't read it, so... Are you making fun of me, or did you actually think I was auditioning for Oklahoma? Why the fuck would you audition for Oklahoma? I'm not! Then why the fuck do you look like you're auditioning for Oklahoma? Do I? Yes. Has everyone read Oklahoma but me? Oklahoma was like a play you read. Bro, are you on drugs? Yes. You relapsed? Uh, I've just, nah, I've just been smoking a little bit of weed. Wait, I don't understand. If you're not auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or you guys just wake up sometimes and immediately know that you're not gonna be productive for the day. 
as in your body just wants to do nothing. Well, that's how I feel today and I don't want to feel that way. That's why I'm putting on makeup in the hopes that I do something productive after this. I usually don't put on makeup when I do errands, but I really need the motivation. So here we are. I just used skin tint and some concealer. Now I'm gonna bronze. I just want to do something quick and simple and fresh. I mixed these two to create my own glowy blush so I don't highlight anymore. I really like how this turned out. Charlotte will be who? Tinting my brows a bit. By the way, I recommend getting your brows laminated, but only if you're into this look. Curling my lashes, adding some mascara. I kind of want to sculpt this area a bit powdering the areas that I don't want to look shiny. A couple of you guys have been asking about this lip combo, so I'm gonna show you. I first lined my lips with this lip liner from LA Girl in the shade Sugar and Spice. And then for gloss, I use this glitter teaser from Lip Glossary. It's actually a local brand. And if you can see, it's pink, but it has some gold flecks in it. This is what it looks like, and I just used these two products. Okay, I'm done. I guess you could call this my lazy day makeup routine. Anyway, I gotta go do some errands. Bye. Bad bitch, I've been that fashion over jeans cause my ass fat. Phone stay on DD, don't call, ask me your man at. I'ma always make shit shake ho in the neighborhood that I can't go. I'm a big dime, big body with an even bigger bankroll. Ain't a bitch out that's like me and I don't wanna hear no comparisons. That is bitch out of New York, fuck who think I'm arrogant. Where she go, I'll never know if friends bounce to I guess it's their loss, but they'll never know what we'll amount to And would you be my light, be my yellow PYT walking down for a better Put a smile on his face at the end of the day MDMA helped us fly away Who'd have known, who'd have known you would save my life Who'd have known, who'd have known you would fly my kite Could you tell, could you tell Could you tell, could you tell where my head was at when you found me Man, I thought I had everything, I was lonely Now you're my everything, I was lonely decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. She needed to clear her head. And for those three hours she spent getting ready, she only thought about one thing. Honestly, just look at him, then look at me, I'm feeling pretty. No matter the city, we cracking lives, and we out here ending lives. Hey guys, this is a life update slash updated makeup routine. First, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Moisturizer. I thought that this was an asthma inhaler when I first received it. See, thought it was an asthma inhaler. Does this look like an asthma inhaler? I don't have asthma. Next, I'm gonna go in with Super Goop. I usually like the matte one because my face is really oily, but I've been kind of liking the glow sunscreen recently. Uh, but today, because I put on that Fenty thing, I'm gonna use the matte one. I've been noticing that I look super orange in like pictures and stuff and then the lady at Ulta told me that if I do things with like a sand tint I should stop looking orange. So next I'm going to use the shark shape shape tape shark. What did the girl call it? Shark shape tape. The, just the tart shape. Boop, boop. Oh, I'm going to let the concealer sit on my face for a while because I find that when it sits and then I blend it in later it kind of has time to become more thick. I've been really into filling in my eyebrows darker lately. I realized that if my eyebrows are darker, I look hotter. The reason I figured that out is because one day I accidentally filled in my eyebrows too dark, like I put way too much product. And then I posted an Instagram picture and that became my most liked Instagram picture. So I was like, what about this picture is hotter than all the other pictures? And I narrowed it down to the fact that my eyebrows were darker. So I don't know if it's actually true, but um, I'm gonna blend the concealer. Next, I'm gonna contour with Charlotte Tilbury Contour One. Because everyone uses it, it's always out of stock, and so I'm kind of worried I'm gonna run out soon. 
because Eric has been borrowing mine. She's the one who told me about it and I was able to order it <laughs> on Black Friday. But by the time she tried to order it, which was literally two seconds after me, they were all out of stock. So honestly, this contour wand should be hers, but I'm not nice enough to just give it to her. So I let her borrow it. Sorry. Thank you. That I've been putting my contour on my nose too close to my nose and it's been making my nose look really tiny So now I'm just trying to kind of follow like the natural shadow of my nose And I just kind of put the contour up to my nose like or my eyebrow bone thing I left all of my cream blushes in Hawaii So I've literally been using lipstick as a cream blush I've been trying to put blush like literally on my cheekbones because I've been finding that I've been putting it too high And, it's, and I'm blending up because that's what I've been told to do as a woman in this society I should look lifted not saggy. Okay, now I'm gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier setting powder because I'm basic. I always thought I had a really nice nose until TikTok taught me that my nose slightly duds down and it's not like a turn up nose or whatever it's called. I think though in order to get one of those, you literally just have to rub your nose really vigorously when you're younger. Erica used to do that when she was younger and now her nose, what is it called Erica? Is it called turn up nose? Upturn? And now she has an upturned nose. So, I grew up with allergies. start them young guys. Uh.